Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangle Skeins Crafter. And today I have for you an unboxing from FGOBY. And this is a collaboration, so I did not pay for these myself. But as you know, I will give you my honest opinions of them, regardless of how I got them. Um, I have five cross stitch kits. I'm going to do them all in one video. So let's get started. If you have not been to the fgoby.com site, they do mostly cross-stitching. They do have um, some resin ornaments, some home decor like um, wind chimes and sun catchers, and some oil paintings. But it's mostly cross-stitch and you can do custom cross-stitch too. They do usually have some kind of sale going on or some kind of special. I'll put it up on the screen after I find it. I don't want to click around and waste a lot of time for y'all. Okay, this one is called Still Life Series on the site. It's 11 count stamped, uh, 40 by 40. Comes with the typical kit five needles in a poof ball, adjustable thimble, and a needle threader. Comes with a separate sheet for the instructions for cross stitch, um, which most of you have probably seen this multiple times, but it just gives you like how to choose your thre threads, how to choose your strands, how to choose the threads, the thread color, how to read the symbols and everything, how to stitch on unprinted, cloth, how to like care for your material and all the different stitches you might need. I'm sorry if I'm a little disjointed tonight. I did not get any sleep and it's really late or early depending on how you look at it. Alright, let's look at, hopefully I put a picture up for you. Okay, here's the little thumbnail. I'm going to call this Wizard Snow Globe. Just make it easier. Alright, so the Wizard Snow Globe is kind of like a Harry Potter inspired snow globe. The little sorting hat on top of it. Probably the Marauder's Map underneath it. The Golden Snitch. And then inside the snow globe is the castle with the floating candles. And I can see most of the elements in this chart so that's usually a good sign. Oh I forgot to say it is 35 colors. It looks like all this blue is a white so I probably will not stitch all of the background. I'm just glad it's not all black. I'm getting really really tired of stitching really dark backgrounds. Looks like everything is printed clearly in case you need to use the chart. Symbols are clear, easy to tell them apart from each other. Some of them are kind of sim similar to each other but they're clear enough that I don't think that's going to be an issue. Let's look at the canvas. Surge all the way around so it won't be fraying on us. A little stiff but workable. Little thumbnail in the color legend. The surging does go through the numbers a bit, but they're still readable. I don't see any issues, but you can always refer back to the printed chart. 
Oh, it's on that sparkly canvas I've been getting lately. Which, I'm going to like that if I don't stitch the background, then it's going to be sparkly and I think that's going to be fitting for this piece. So it is 11 count, 40 by 40 centimeters. I already said 35 colors. And it looks like it is printed clearly. Everything's in its own individual square, it looks like. Again, there are some symbols that are kind of similar. So you have like the greater than sign, the forward slash, an X, and a V, and a, I can't remember what that little symbol's called. It's kind of a Y, but like a curvy Y, all in the same color. So that could get a little confusing, whoops. If they're near each other but it's printed really clearly so it shouldn't be too problematic I was looking to see if there's any others that might be easily confused I think that's it If you're hearing all the noises, my cats are knocking down stuff. I have no idea what they're getting into. Sparkly. It's got nice blocks of collar and areas of confetti. So it should be an interesting stitch. And I look forward to stitching this. I love Harry Potter, if you don't know by now. I'm sorry, my cat's making so much noise if you hear all that. Okay, let's look at the floss. Just like the product number or whatever it's called. Alright, so here's all the white for the background, which I'll probably save this for some other project because I really don't think I'm going to do the background. Maybe I'll set that to the side and untangle this. Comes on the floss card, which I know a lot of people prefer. Sorry, it's like, let me do it this way. Put it up so I can untangle it. All right. Ooh, I don't know. Can you see how bright that, that green is? On my monitor is not showing up. It's like a neon green. And so is this one. So they're both really bright, fluorescent. There's the word I'm looking for. Almost a fluorescent green. This one's just a little darker. Anyway, here's numbers 1 through 18. Oranges, browns, blues, white, gray, green, black. Pretty colors. This side is some of my favorite colors, though, in this one. 19 through 35. Oh, it's just not showing up. As pretty as in person. I'm going to pause and see if I can adjust, adjust my lighting or something. I don't know if that helped at all, but... It's just really vivid, pretty colors to my naked eye. On my monitor they're looking a little washed out. But it's tills and aquamarines and 
like a seafoam green. Kind of an orange, yellow, tans, and that white. So I guess this is more of a, yeah, this is more of a cream or an off-white. But yeah, these are very pretty colors. I just wish they would show up on my monitor how I'm seeing them. Just imagine these all lighter, brighter, bi more vibrant, and more green. For some reason, these are all coming out really blue, but these are all greenish. I'm going to try one more time. Now they're almost too vibrant, but anyway... At least I think you can get a better idea of the colors. Blues, greens, teals, aquamarines. The fluorescent greens. Vibrant browns and oranges. Right, here's all of the colors together. I think it's going to turn out really pretty. Okay, right. let's go to the next one. Oh, I forgot to say, I'll have it up on the screen earlier, but um, that one is eight dollars and sixty-three cents normally. Right now, it's showing you can save twenty percent on it. And it'll be six dollars and ninety cents. Now I have no idea how long that lasts, but I thought I would go ahead and say that since that's what I am seeing. All right, next. This one is a Joy Sunday. Oh, it just looks so dark. Let's see if that helps any. Um, on the site, this is called, it's just under Fairy Tale Flower World. They have multiple under that label. This one called Home of the Doors. It's 14 count, 33 by 33 centimeters. And any Joy Sunday kit, the instructions for cross stitch and all that is printed on the back of this reusable, resellable envelope baggy thingy. I can tell you I've been working on some Joy Sunday kits the last couple of months and they are definitely worth the hype. I know so many people love them and I love them and I, I'm looking forward to working on this one. As you can tell this is kind of a Lord of the Rings Hobbit kind of inspired piece. Sorry I was holding that way too far out. little house under the hill, the smoking pipe, just pretty, it's cute. Oh, that sound. Alright, so it's two full pages on this side, and then two half pages on this side. Looks like it has 51 colors, if I'm reading this right. Has full stitch, half stitch, French knots, and back stitch. Looks like it has 49 colors in full stitch. nine colors in half stitch, four colors in French knots, two colors in back stitch. Okay, so those are the same colors, just different. So I'm, I'm guessing this is probably like, this is for the printed chart and this is for the stamped canvas. So it's two sets of the same 
So it's just two colors French knots, two colors backstitch. So I'm sorry if that was confusing. I'm not used to these that yet. I don't have very many of the Joy Sunday and I feel like the other ones I have don't have this double um, legend. Anyway, as with every Joy Sunday kit I've seen so far, the pattern is printed on this nice glossy thick paper. It's printed really clearly. It's going to have quite a bit of backstitch in it, but it kind of needs it to have this detail. So even though I'm not a huge fan of actually doing backstitch, I am a huge fan of the detail it adds. Let's look at the canvas next. So many colors for such a small canvas. I mean, it's not a tiny canvas or anything, but yeah, it's just, what I say it was? 33 by 33 centimeters? 143 by 140 stitches? I mean, the grid is. Let's see. So there's your half stitches, your back stitches. It's just black and white, looks like. Um your full stitches go all the way across the bottom and all the way up the side. For me, well, I can actually make it out. So I can see the printing of the numbers. And the symbol's good on the legend. Now let's look at canvas itself. Sorry, I had some thread stuck to it. I feel like it's clearly printed. Everything's in its appropriate square. Hope you can see this good. I noticed my webcam has been doing some weird stuff. Lots of little areas of color. So no big blocks really, but a lot of like continuous areas. Looks like you don't stitch the white. I guess if you wanted to, you could. Yeah, I think it's a really well printed canvas. It's got all the information on it. Home of the dwarves, the name of the kit. 141 by 143. I said 140 by 143. Yeah, I really like this. Not sure what the number five has to do with anything, but I look forward to working on this. Really like this, but it's still it's not my favorite of the five kits I'm gonna unbox for you today. Alright, let's look at the floss. It's just trying to be a gnarled mess. Alright, it comes with two needles staple to it because Joy Sunday does not come with the kits like a lot of the other brands or generic ones do or off brand I don't know if they're considered generic I'm sure everything has a brand we just don't know all the brands okay this came on two floss cards it's got I think the number of strands or number of links I don't know how you say it then the DMC number code and then the, the you know number one through what I say 51 
so it's so you know exactly what you need to know for each each floss color. It's a small project, so it's not a whole lot of floss for each. But it's so many colors, it's going to be so pretty. Oh, and the cat is moving my camera. Sorry. If it's not one, it's the other. Anyway, this is 1 through 15. Just trying to focus and show the colors, but it keeps just washing them out. And I cannot keep adjusting the colors. Here is 16 through 30. These are actually really bright greens, vibrant colors. Oh my goodness, stop. These are really like pastel greens and pinks and yellows. On the second floss card here, I take this staple out. I already poked myself with it. <laughs> All right here is 31 through 45. More pretty, pretty greens, yellows, purples, oranges, tan. And then 46 through 51. I love doing kits that have this many colors. Let's see if I can show you all of them together. You can tell there's a lot of greens in it. Oranges. Very pretty. I'm trying to hold it in the light, but the colors still aren't showing up as pretty as they are. Pretty vibrant colors. Pretty, pretty rainbow. This one is $5.93 on the site. Definitely worth it. All right, next. One of my absolute favorite Studio Ghibli animes is Princess Mononoke. Mononoke? I don't remember how to say it. This is showing it as eight dollars and a penny, so eight dollars and one cent. It is forty by fifty-six centimeters, stamped, eleven count. Comes with the five needles and a poof ball, adjustable thimble, and needle threader. A pretty butterfly baggy. I love this image. I actually have this as a little poster, framed poster on my wall. So it's going to be fun to have a cross-stitched version of it. Comes with a nice sized image on the printed chart. And then the, the cross-stitched directions printed underneath it. This is the, the ones that had the warm prompt, so I don't know if that's their business name or what, but it on it. I've had several of those. They seem to be really good quality. Comes on the tearproof paper. It's got 
the image again as a thumbnail and then nice big legend sorry fingers are in the way it's got 40 colors okay let's look at the chart i don't see any smudging or blurring everything seems to be printed really clearly does anybody else find this kind of symbol just really hard on the eyes it's a bunch of pluses but then they end up making like these lines but the lines don't go along with the lines because they're actually in the center so you're having like lines in lines if that makes sense and it just really messes with my eyes we have some blocks of color have some good area with this color enough variety to keep it interesting some confetti enough colors that should give it good detail I can see like her mask the ears her earring her face the wolf her spear Let me know if you've seen this animation and if you like it. It is one of my absolute favorites. I say that about a lot of Studio Ghibli, but um, Princess Mononoke and Kiki are my two like top favorite. And then like Howl's Moving Castle and Spirited Away and stuff like that. I really enjoy too. Let's look at the canvas. It is surged all the way around. Warm prompt. 40 by 56 centimeters, 148 stitches by 217 stitches. 11 count. It's got the thumbnail, the nice size legend printed on the canvas. The surging does go through the numbers, but I can still read them all. Everything looks like, oh, and the cat, the other cat's here now, moving the camera, or the webcam. Actually, it's moving what the, the webcam is attached to. Looks like everything's printed clearly. Everything's in its square. Some of them don't look exactly centered, but they're all in their square. I like this kind of printing where it's got like pinks and I don't, it don't, it's not overrun with red. I find some of the ones that have a lot of red in it kind of hard on my eyes. I like these lighter, lighter colors. It's going to be pretty good size. Not like huge, but good size for wall, good size to frame. I hope she turns out really good because like I said I just I love this image. Right, let's look at the floss. Okay. 
comes on floss straps, which I love. Ah, oh, it's so soft. Got the cream. Got this bright red. Brown. Gray, light blue. That really, really pale, like, minty green. That's showing up almost white or cream on my monitor. Pretty light lavender. Light blue. Some green green. Is that a really dark brown? Really light. Tanny peach. Kind of like a forest green or hunter green. And I guess a really dark green and then gray behind it. Some blues. I hope you can see them all as I'm going through them. More grays, more really light pink. 814, I think I have another kit. But I love that color. It's lighter than what it's showing up on my monitor. More red, more grays, more greens. Tans. Yeah, just lots of pretty colors. That match the image really well. I rarely actually look and see if it looks like what the picture does. I just usually trust that it's going to. But this really does. It's like immediately you can see. <sighs> I really want to start these, but this month's full up. Not even sure when this is gonna air exactly. I'm filming it in February. But I have a lot of stuff posting too, so I'm not sure it might go up early March or late February. Alright. Next. I really, really like this one. This one is called well, this is character series 11 count stamped cross stitch multiple sizes so it has it's one of the listings that has like three different things you could choose from this one shows it's originally nine dollars and 35 cents right now it's showing at seven dollars and 48 cents And it has the stamp over the other stamp or sticker. So I thought this was such a pretty and cute picture. I mean, one, why is this cat so big compared to everything else? Like this girl standing up here doing whatever she's doing. There's like the door and all the products for sale. And then this cat sitting on the counter and it is taking up so much space. I don't know why I find that so funny. Right. I think I already said 11 count. It's got the good sized image on there and then the instructions for cross stitch printed below it. This is also whoops, one prompt. thumbnail. It's got the color legend, symbol legend. Some people call it chart, some people call it key. Let's get a little closer. It's got 36 colors. Hopefully that's enough. I wish it was slightly more, but I mean, that's still a good amount of colors. 
on the tear proof paper. I don't know if I already said that. It's got all the information printed on it. One prompt, the 40 by 50 centimeters, 148 stitches by 191 stitches. I don't see any smudging or blurring. Everything is printed clearly. Easily distinguishable. I'm not seeing any symbols. I'm going to get confused, I don't believe. So that makes me happy. The cat. He's just so big. It's funny because I can't even really make her out. I think that's her standing there. But I can make that cat out clearly. I just hope all that detail... I don't know why I'm showing you the little thumbnail. I hope all that detail is in here. Like the photos on the wall and all the stuff on the shelves. We will see. I'm looking forward to working on this one. I say that about every single one. I'm so happy they sent me all of these. It, this is months in the making. I first talked to them in November. And then I didn't hear from them for a while because the person I was in contact with got sick. And they were out for a little bit. And they came back and we got everything set up. Some of my stuff wasn't in stock, so I chose different stuff. And then they sent it out. And then a month went by, and I contacted them because I never got it. And they said that it showed it was sent out, and someone had signed for it. But this time I'm talking to someone else than who I was originally talking to. And then I sent some more choices. He said what was available, and he said he'd send them to me. So out of the six things I had I'd said I'd be interested in looking at. They sent five of them, and I wasn't even expecting them to send all of them. But it came pretty quick after that. In a reasonable amount of time. Alright, I will stop my rambling. My little tiger here is holding five needles in a poof ball, the adjustable thimble, and the needle threader. Let's look at the canvas. Warm prompt, 40 by 50, 148 by 191 stitches, 11 count. Everything's printed on there, along with the thumbnail. And nice big legend. Surged all the way around so it won't fray. Surged through the edge of the numbers, but they're still readable. And if there's any doubt, you can always look at the chart. Looks like everything is printed clearly. Everything's in its own square. You can tell everything apart. Even those X's and V's are slightly different colors. Zigzaggy kitty cat. We have blocks of collar and we have confetti and sprinkles. Some of them might get a little tedious with the confetti, but for the most part, it looks like it's going to be a fun stitch. Oops. And again, it's a decent size to finish and then frame and put on my wall. Currently, I don't have wall space for everything I want on the wall, but by the time I get everything finished, hopefully I'll have new walls to put it on. Because I'm not going to live here forever in a rental. Look at these lovely collars. Come on, floss straps. Makes me happy. What I like about, well, it's not what I like about it. One of the things I like about this kit 
as it's more muted colors. Like the other kit was more vibrant. And this has some vibrant colors in there, but it's like more just paler, more muted colors. Purples, greenishes. It's like a gray green. Again, the monitor is not showing what I'm seeing. It's like I can either can show you vibrant colors or I can show you washed out colors and I cannot do both at the same time in the same video without going in and changing my settings constantly. So I apologize. I feel like you don't get the full effect of this. How pretty this is. It's like a nice warm muted palette with some bright splashes of more vibrant colors. It's a nice relaxed almost fall or early spring to me. I mean everybody sees colors differently and everybody thinks of them differently. But I hope you can see at least well enough to know that this is very pretty. And I'm just making it a tangled mess. Yeah, showing much darker on my monitor. This one is just such a beautiful blue. A lot lighter than what's showing on my monitor. <laughs> it's funny, sometimes I'll do a video and I'm disappointed in the kits, and sometimes I'm doing a video and I'm disappointed at how the colors aren't showing up like they're supposed to. So that one, I cannot remember if I already said so I'm going to say it again. It shows it's originally $9.35. Right now it's showing at $7.48. Save 20%. Alright, and finally, last but not least, is one of my favorite, I hope it will be anyway, kits that I got in this one, other than Princess Mononoke. This one says, again, not a name, 17.72 by 17.72 inch cross stitch pillow kit with zip for kids adult sewing craft gift. It is listed as originally $12.41, but right now save 20%, $9.93. Like I said, I don't know when that price changes. But I'm showing, I'm telling what it's showing right now. Okay, this is the image. And I am just in love with this image. And I think this is my third cross stitch kit I have that has this little creature. So I guess it's the same girl, maybe, in each one. So I think that's interesting. She is 45 by 45 centimeters, 195 by 195 stitches. Does it say? It doesn't say the count. Most all the other ones I have are 11 count. Okay. In the description, it does say it's 11 count, 3 strands, 45 by 45 centimeters.
Alright, so the image, the instructions for cross stitch are printed on the chart. It's on the tear free or at least harder to tear paper. It's got a little thumbnail also, and then the legend. Thirty-five colors. I don't see any smudging, blurring, smearing of any kind. Everything's printed clearly. Easy to see, easy to tell them apart. Uses the same symbols over and over, but in different color. Which I have some other charts that are like that, and it's not as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Because sometimes my brain just wants to say, hey, that's a circle, or an O, or whatever, so you need to stitch it this one, when actually it's just a different colored one. I'm not seeing any, like, big blocks of collar. I'm seeing small ones. I feel like it's printed kind of small, but not tiny. I can see it easily with my glasses. I'm going to go to the canvas and see how that looks. Here's the kit. Oh, it's got a little Bambi. Looks, does it look angry? <laughs> anyway, at the poof ball. It's angry at the poof ball with the five needles. It's got the uh, adjustable thimble and the needle threader. As I said, she is a pillow kit. I have a few that I'm working on right now, and I love them, so I am looking forward to this one. Can't remember if I said I probably say this in all of my videos, but I learned from someone else's video to not try to like reach in and find the zipper. You just take it and pull. It'll come apart easily, and you're not going to be forcing the zipper to do anything it doesn't want to do. Pull gently and it comes open. It's real soft on the inside. Or on, it's, it'll be the back of it. It's nice and soft. So this polyester nylon kind of filling material will be on the inside. Alright. Now these pillow cases, pillow covers, they don't have the legend printed on them. So you have to refer back to your chart. And as you can see, it's pretty similar coloring. It's just more, more vibrant on the printed canvas, so it probably makes it easier to distinguish between all the colors. It's like darker. So like this dark orange on here is more of a red. But yeah, it's easy. It's easy to follow along on your printing pattern. If you can't make out a symbol for some reason on your canvas. But this looks like it's printed really clearly. Everything's in the appropriate squares. Everything's easy to see. If you ever hesitate to do a pillow case kit because it's got, you know, stuff attached or anything, the, the most difficulty I've had in stitching one is whenever I have to get up near. Because I like to go all the way up to where it's sewed. As close as I can get. And that can get a little awkward and slow you down just a little bit. But honestly, it's just like stitching on any other canvas. Just I just rolled this up. 
keep it out the way. Maybe get a little clip and clip it there. And then it's out of your way and you just stitch like you would on any canvas. So if you've ever hesitated because of that, just it's not even an issue. I see some blocks of color, but for the most part, this is not going to be a lot of, it's a lot of smaller blocks of color, not huge blocks. Looks like right here, some good blocks. And this is two of the two colors with a bunch of the other little colors mixed in. So a lot of this stitching with a little bit of this stitching. I feel like it's not going to be a difficult stitch. It's going to just be varied enough to keep it interesting. And I just absolutely, I just keep hitting this plastic. It's probably so loud. But yeah, I just absolutely love this. This picture. This is surged all the way around so it won't be fraying as you're stitching on it. It does have the uh, information printed on the bottom to match in case for some reason you don't keep these together. You can easily tell what it goes with. 45 by 45, 195 by 195. Let's move this out of the way and look at the floss. This looks like Sorry, say it after I stop rattling so much. Looks like it matches the image on the site better than the image printed on the thing. The image printed on the chart is a lot paler pinks, more washed out. The image on the site is more vibrant, and I feel like these are more vibrant. Lots of pinks. Lots of orangey browns and tans, mostly for that doggy deer. I still don't know what that thing is. Some faded greens and grays. I think it's her outfit, like her hoodie and her skirt. Yeah, just a lot of pink. I'm not really a pink person, but I love this image. I'm more of a purple person, but sometimes pink just calls to a person. Little bit of greens. I love floss drops, but it is so hard to show the colors to you. I hope you're getting an idea. It's just vibrant, pretty pinks. along with greens and blues, tans, and oranges. Very little black. Makes me happy. I think that's why I was leaning towards some of these brighter and more pastel-y or more muted or like this just very pink palette is because I've been doing a lot of dark navy blues and blacks and dark browns and dark purples in my stitching lately so it's nice to have just these light pretty pastel -y colors just kind of lighten up the mood switch it up a little bit anyway I know it was a little rambly it is four o'clock in the morning I had like an hour and a half of sleep at like 10 o'clock last night before driving three hours after spending the day in Austin. It's really nice, but I got home and I saw that package and I was excited, so I thought I would immediately open it and film this unboxing. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure when it'll go up, but it won't be too long, so 
Um, as I said, if you haven't checked out fgoby.com, they do have just they have some really beautiful kits. They have bookmarks, they have pillowcases, they have all kind of cross stitch kits. Um, they have a lot of like Harry Potter inspired, Lord of the Rings inspired, a lot of Disney inspired kits along with just anime and let me see I think I already told you they have resin like little res, resin knickknacks they have cross stitch tools um, home decor under the home decor they had the um, do it yourself oil paintings brooches just little brooches to wear like shawl pins and stuff Center brooches. I why is it? I, I feel like I'm having a hard time saying brooches. I think because I usually say brooch, but it's not a brooch. Um, they have the sun catchers and the wind chimes. They have stationery and stickers, paper, washi tape, stuff like that. They have the resin ornaments and they have wax seals. They just have some really beautiful images. And some of these images I don't remember seeing on any other site. So it is definitely worth going to go check them out. And they have good prices. They always have some kind of little special or deal. Thank you so much for joining me today. Sorry I was so rambly. Lack of sleep. Plus you know me. I am awkward and rambly. And I'm really excited about these kits. I'm so glad that FGOBY decided to collaborate with me and sent me these kits. And I look forward to sharing my progress on them as I work on them. Um, if you find any value in this, please consider giving me a like subscribing if you haven't already if you've made it this far I hope that you know you want to be my stitchy friend um, if you haven't checked out my channel I do diamond painting and cross stitch for the most part I do a little bit of book stuff here and there and I do other crafts I just haven't been sharing videos because I haven't been doing them recently everything I talked about in here I will have links in the description box I do not have a discount code for them, but they do always have deals. So let me know what you thought of the kits. Let me know if you've done any of them, if you want to do any of them, if you're going to go buy some of them. Um, just leave a comment below or feel free to email me. My email is in the description box also. Thank you again for joining me today and I will see you next time. Bye bye.